Hey, Phil from Got Memories. Um, so, this uh, video I'm going to cover adjusting the focus on Tobin Cinema System uh, regular eight machines. So you got Tobin. So sometimes, you know, I get films and I'm like, is that? And I'm comparing it against other films I'm doing here from the same camera, same batch. And when it doesn't seem as sharp, you know, you might want to check the focus. Now, the way you adjust the focus on these is a mechanical kind of process here. So there's three screws. I've already taken them out. You've got the LED light source. So if I kind of unplug it, you can kind of see there it goes black. Um, but I, you want to keep it and then you take off the cover. And then you've got the gates, you've got the camera, and then you've got the magnifying lens here. Now this is the focus adjustment. It is a fixed focus, but sometimes when I've had them back from repair, I just want to double check. So Allen wrench, don't ask me what size, and you just do a slight turn. Yeah, these are sometimes wedged in there. Okay, so just going to do a light turn here. So, yeah, right there. Um, and sometimes it is kind of glued. So, look, you got this here. There's the lens. So, what I do is I use my finger and thumb to slide it back and forth and then just compare it against up here. Um, I am going to... There we go. I'm going to take that out. And... As I move it, see, look, if I move, tap it, I'll put my finger in front of the gate right here, look. That blocks it. So, very carefully, and you can, you can really screw things up if you're not careful. So, I do not recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing. And I'm doing it just to double check. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty dialed in it also adjusts the see watch this see now you got the framer off all this stuff and then you've got to move this up down left right which can become such a pig if you screw this up <laughs> you screw it's like it's like patting your head rubbing your belly and jumping up and down in circles uh hopping on one leg um, that is what it's like to line this up if you do screw it up. So if you guys out there with Tobins, um, you know, all these have to be done and aligned and everything has to just kind of match. And it's, um, so what I like to do is kind of push it all the way out here. Can't really get a wide screen, but, and then what you're looking for is, is the grain. And then see, look how out of focus it is right now. See, look, boom. That is the money spot right there. So what I'm going to do is tighten this back up very carefully because as you turn it, the grub screw does kind of turn the, um, uh, the lens a little bit and it can screw it up. It's all good fun stuff. But yeah, um, and then just screw it all back together. But uh, yeah, it is um, some tricky stuff, but it's all, uh, this is why I love the Tobins, because it is pretty straightforward, but it's not at the same time. Um, Urbanski Film uh, maintains the um, mechanisms, and these are all sprocketed, which yes, you can get the sprocket list, but you need something to grab onto those sprockets. And yes, there are other, you know, machines out there, but you're talking a lot of additional labor, time, and then ultimately cost um, on top, um, which the average consumer is not willing to pay, and it really doesn't affect it. And I go through all the film as well and check everything to make sure it's, you know, it's not going to misbehave itself. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that now is going to be, I'm just gonna tighten that very slowly. Also keeping eye on there and uh, give it a go, pull it and there we go. And then I'm just going to screw this back on and then 
it's not really showing the true quality here with the exposure setting but um, yeah so you can adjust the exposure here like up and down so anyway all right 